welcome back to my beauties at big sister channel I'm a little bit late with this video because I think you would have gone back to school last week but better late than never right so this is my back to school makeup look using all drugstore products these are all affordable but also they are all amazing products I love this look and it's a look that I would definitely wear from day to day I'm not sure how much makeup you can get away with wearing at school I know when I was at school we could wear nothing um, but I think they're a little bit more lenient nowadays so I hope this gives you some makeup inspo. If you are new to my channel and you've just landed on this video thank you so so much please click the subscribe button and be part of my family. So let's get on to the makeup look. Never ever start a video this barefaced. I look about five years old so let's put on some makeup. First of all I'm starting with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I have had this in my makeup drawer since for as long as I can remember like this has been with me I have quite large pores like around my nose so for me this pore eraser is so good and to be honest I just put this all over my skin as my base blows everything out and for me it's kind of like a dupe for the benefit um, professional honestly it just makes your skin feel so soft and now I'm gonna go in I thought that went over the carpet then Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I cannot rave about this foundation enough. Because I get sent so many beauty products, it's quite rare that I actually will go out and buy something and then rebuy it because I just have so much makeup that I really don't need to do that. But with this foundation, I actually re-bought this, which means it is damn good because I can't survive without it in my makeup kit. So I bought the shade Light Bronze, which is number 56. You can apply this foundation however you want. You wanna apply it with your fingertips. It is quite similar to a tinted moisturizer formula. It's just a little bit more thicker, but oh my God, I love it so much. So I'm just using a sponge. <laughs> I'm just using a sponge to blend this all in and you can see it just gives such a gorgeous like airbrushed finish don't need a lot of product and they have so many different shades that are very very similar in the range and that's because they get in the right shade for the right undertone of your skin so they're very slightly different but there's so many to choose from so I went with light bronze and I'm really really happy with this shade I took this on holiday with me to Ibiza and Barcelona and yeah it was perfect I mean, how much more flawless does this side of my skin look I love it so much. So how is everyone doing at school? Are you at college now? Are you at uni? Let me know in the comments. I remember I used to feel sick thinking about going back to school after the six weeks holidays. <laughs> I do not miss that feeling. Another favourite is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I've again had this in my makeup bag for forever um, I mean you can see how battered this tube is that's how you can tell that I've used it so much because all the wording has actually basically all rubbed off so I've just put that on all the areas that I want to highlight all the typical areas where you'd normally put your concealer to be honest again this is just such a nice glowy healthy dewy concealer it's such a good one for on a budget but it really does work so I would definitely compare it to my high-end concealers I feel like I look so pale in this video right now I'm not really sure what is going on with my lighting but I really don't think I look this pale in real life. If I do, then I seriously need a spray tan. <laughs> this is a new product that I've introduced to my collection. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. This is so good. So it's translucent powder, as it says on the tin. It's white, but it comes out clear. Um, and it just sets your makeup in place. It works really, really well. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush and just setting that all in place. When you're going to be out all day, you don't want your foundation to budge and because this is quite a dewy foundation, it's a very good idea to set it all in place because they're quite glowy textures. Okay, brows. I feel like I've got none right now, so I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paradise Pomade. If you haven't seen my video on this, I will link it above now, testing out the whole Paradise range. Um, but this is in the shade... Uh, I never know how to say this, Chatane, 
I think that's how you say it, um, but it's just a kind of mid to deep brown. Also, if you haven't caught up on my latest videos yet or you are new, then I did do a video on how to start your career. So if you've just left school or college or uni and you're kind of just like, yeah, I don't know what to do in my life, then head over and watch that video because hopefully it might help. So my memory card just got full, so I finished my eyebrows because I got really impatient while I was deleting stuff. <laughs> um, but basically, this is the product that I used, um, the L'Oreal Paradise. So it's a very like moussey texture, it's basically like a chocolate mousse for your eyebrows. It blends really well, comes with that handy little brush. Um, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up, I'm going to go around the edges with this Rimmel Insta Conceal and Contour, I'm going to use the lightest um, concealer shade, and I'm just going to go around, <coughs> oh, I don't know what happened there, I'm going to go around my eyebrows just to tidy them up. I think tidying up your brows is such a good thing to do, even if you think you've gone really neat, it always just gives that nice crisp edge to your eyebrows. And that's what really gives it that kind of professional finish. So I'm just using a flat brush for this, but you can use a pointed. And don't look too closely at my eyebrows because they really need doing right now. <laughs> is anyone else just like, so, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether I'm just forgetful or I'm really busy, but with things like that, I just feel like I never have time to go and get my nails done or go and get my eyebrows done. Okay, now let's go in with mascara. I don't know why, but I haven't got around to trying this yet. It's been in my makeup drawer for so long. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. So this is the gold tube one that has been on so many YouTubers' videos. Everyone seems to love it, so I'm very excited to give this a go. Oh, I really, really like the big wand on it. It's a really nice fat brush and so many bristles in there. I really hope this is good as everyone says. Okay, the volume is real with this mascara. It's super fluttery. It's like having false lashes on. When they touch my eyebrows when I look down, that's how I know it's a good mascara. If they don't touch my eyebrows, I'm like, no, not for me. <laughs> I'm really impressed with how much it didn't clump. When I first looked at the brush, I thought, mm, this looks like quite a clumpy formula, but it really isn't. It's quite dry, if that makes sense. It's not too wet, which means it's not clumping as much as I thought it would. I really, really like this. I guess this is a bit OTT for school, but <laughs> what can you do? Now I am gonna use this palette. I have used this palette non-stop since I received this in the post. It is such a good contour palette. I love, love, love the formula. It's so easy to blend out, it's so easy to work with, and for me, the shades are just perfect. So yeah, I've been loving this palette. I presume this class is as drugstore because it's in Superdrug. Does that mean it's drugstore? I don't even know. But this is about £15, so I think it's around the drugstore kind of price. But you have got um, six shades in there. So six shades for £15, I think is really good. Um, the contour shades, you can probably tell <laughs> from the amount of mess around it. This is the shade that I use like all the time. Um, I also use this shade to mattify my face if I want to use it as a powder and I also really really love this highlight as well. So this is the medium contour palette. I love taking this really dense contour brush from EcoTools, dip that into that warm bronze shade, just pop that underneath my cheekbones. You can just see it goes in the exact place which you want it to go and then you can just start to blend it. I like to just take it along the side of my nose to define that and then up on my forehead as well. I also just like to take this bronze shade through the crease of my eyelid just to deepen it up a little bit because I don't want to go for like a full eyeshadow look but it's just going to give me a bit of shading 
right here. Just a little bit. My top tip for this palette is that it doubles up as an eyeshadow palette perfectly, like so, so well. You can use that gorgeous shimmering highlight on the center of your lid to really make it pop. And these shades are just perfect for that warm, smoky eye. So yeah, that is a top, top pick for me. I've also been loving the blush palette from Nip and Fab. But just to mix up some brands, I'm gonna try this um, NYX Sweet Cheeks blush palette. So it's got loads of different shades in it. You've got really warm tones here, and then you've got your pinks and your blush shades at the top. Okay, I might go for like a peachy vibe. Let's go for this one at the end. Again, this would be really, really nice to run through the eyelid. Now I'm just gonna take this Lottie London Strobe Stick. Cream highlighter, this is in the shade Starstruck. Gorgeous, like light pinky tone, really quick and easy to apply. So if you're in a rush going to school, if you're in a rush to go to work, then this is a great product to use on the go. You can put it on the tops of your cheekbones, you can run it over your eyelid if you want to use it as an eyeshadow, and then you can also use it on your lips if you want just a bit of a gleam. I mean, seriously, for a drugstore highlight, that is crazy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna blend in a minute. Blend that out with my beauty blender. This blends out so beautifully. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I did just want to use a nude lipstick, but what I'm thinking is I might press on a bit of pink just to give me a little bit of colour, but nothing too strong. So this is the Bourjois Rouge Velvet, the lipstick. These are the most beautiful formula for a matte lip. These do not budge. You put them on and they're so buttery and creamy and soft, and then they turn into a matte texture and they just stay on all day. Perfect if you're going to school or work and you just don't want to top up all the time throughout the day. So this is the shade Hey Nude. I really like that this is a lipstick. It comes like a bullet, it's not a liquid lipstick like so many brands are doing right now. I just love the old fashioned lipstick and this is a really nice casing, really nice packaging and this shade is so perfect for just day to day. You can see how much they just glide on. It's like applying a lip balm. As you can see, it's a gorgeous, creamy nude. But as I said, I just wanna add a little bit more color as I'm so nude for the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this high pink chic, which is this gorgeous, like dusky, lilac-y rose. I'm just gonna apply that in the center. enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I loved using full face of drugstore because I haven't done that in so long. So I'm definitely going to make this a regular thing. So let me know what your favourite products were and if you liked this look. It would mean the world if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also liked and comment below. Let me know how you are and let me know how school is going. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!